here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 4. And last episode, we finally got the backstory for Reiner, Berthold, and Annie. Uh, like, how they became the Titan and how they infiltrated Paradise Island. Which I think was very interesting to see. But yeah, if you like what you see, or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. I would really appreciate it, and it would really help me. But yeah, let's get to the episode. Fargo. At this hour, the still is still up. Uh, the sun is still up. Is he? Is Falco so happy about talking with Aaron? Falco, I want to Mr. Kruger, that's not your name. Fake identity. Who does he want to send it to? Maybe Reiner? Hey, Rana, what's up? I'm here. I'm coming to see you. I hope you're waiting for me. <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> Interesting that Aaron wants to send a letter. I'm wondering to who. Maybe Zeke? Maybe Rana? I wouldn't know to who else. And what is he saying in that letter? Oh.私が対馬家投手ビリーだ。選手隊隊長手を曲がとです。我が対馬家一族を紹介させていただこう。オッケー。当初より戦士隊を束ねるあなたが見抜けましたか一族の誰が戦隊の巨人かいいえ。怖い
yeah, she's like kind of arrogant, I guess. Nani? <laughs> she doesn't get it. Yeah, she's a bit arrogant. She's like, she thinks she's the best and is a sore loser because of it. Because she really wants to become the Titan. It's a lot of bread. As big as Officer Brown. This is something that is interesting. Reiner looks so much grown up, like a real adult, right? And then you have like Galia, and he looks like pretty young compared. I, I feel like this is like very much based on like World War II, right? Pretty much. So, it's just like really bad all around. Because I mean, we know that no one of them is like really a demon, right? It's just, hey, these are the people that are different, so they can be dangerous. And so, in, in order to. In order for them to not go against us, we have to do something against... We have to go against them, basically. And keep them down. Yeah, oh, really? No one has. So who leads the country if they are, like, at the top and they are not leading it? When time ran out. Oh, he's back at... And talks with Eren again. He really starts to like Eren, I guess, and, start, and likes to talk to him. I can't wait for Eren to start his plan or whatever he wants to do here. Oh! Oh, so this is a grandpa from Zeke? Oh my god. He meets his family, kind of. Oh. Oh, so he's the that's his brother called. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, this is a tough situation, right? Don't get suspicious. Lay low. If you look, if you start to look suspicious, it can turn out really bad for you. What did they say, wait? Ah. What is that's a bit fucked up, right? It's like, yeah, you're in a hospital, but hey, if your mind is okay, then get the fuck out of here. Hey dude, I'm missing a leg, but hey, pff, my mind is fine, right? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude, he he feels really bad about it. But I guess back then, like Grisha's past, that the family was like very like... They didn't show much emotion, if I remember correctly, right? Because they couldn't. If they would do something that would make them suspicious or goes against Marley's interest, they are fucked too. So they have to just basically like 
sit there and nod and be like, yep, cool, yep, fine, and just accept it, right? But deep down, you can see, I guess, that it's, like, really rough for them, too. Like, that it's, like, really painful for them. That's just... Just because they're aliens, they have to deal with all of the shit and get treated so badly. <clears throat> Classified information. The, its current, uh, current head is Willy Tiber. Like I said earlier, I guess the Warhammer Titan must be strong, right? Because if they're, like, at the top, they would need a strong Titan, right? Because if they have, like, a wimpy-ass Titan, then... The power balance would be a bit off, I guess. But this is interesting because Willy said that he is the first one that takes control of the country right now, right? That no one did it before him. And here it says uh, controlling the entire military state of Mali. I mean, I guess that's not really controlling the country, right? It's just controlling the military. But who controls the country if it's not like basically the family that is at the top? Maybe you have like some politicians, uh, politicians that do that stuff maybe? Yeah, this must be like a different world for them. Super fancy. Oh, they are waiters. <laughs> they are working their asses off. God damn it, dude. Is she from the Taiba family? Exactly, dude, you would be dead. Izuru. The Orient, okay. So different country. Speech time? For resources. Wait, did he say yesterday's enemies is today's enemy or something like that? Yeah, enemy is enemy. Nothing changed. And everyone is like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Yeah, everyone is like, dude. Fuck you. Huh? What joke? What are you talking about? I was serious. Wait, what the fuck? He might be the only alien that is not treated, treated as trash, right? Because he's at the top, basically. Okay. And this must be amazing for them. <laughs> I guess they maybe have never experienced this before a festival. He's like, all oh, my money is gone. <laughs> but I guess it makes him happy to see them happy. He's just dragging her along. <laughs> This is too happy. I have a bad feeling about this. Exactly. I have a bad feeling, man. Here we go. Will we see it or do we have to wait? Okay, she can walk without uh, without anything. She can walk by herself now. Don't tell me, is it Aaron? He wants to see you. It's Aaron. He arranged a meeting. Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh my god! I can't wait! Okay, <laughs> this was the episode. Oh my god, I'm so hyped for the next episode. I can't wait to see, like, what's it all about. Something I'm wondering is, is maybe Aaron part of the announcement for the Tibber family? Because maybe Aaron sends a letter to him, maybe? But why does the letter have to be in the zone where the Eldians live? So I maybe not. It just seems like such such a coincidence that Aaron is now talking with Reiner exactly before the festival starts. That is like directly in front of where of where Aaron is right now. That seems like a big coincidence, and it's also very interesting to see uh, Zeke's and Grisha's father still like living with like regrets from the past um, because of of what happened back back then. Oh no, that's like that must be tough, I guess. But back back then, I think, as far as I remember, they like I said, they were pretty emotionless. I guess they were just like, yeah, okay, mm, cool. They just accepted it basically because they had no other choice. Otherwise, they would have gotten killed too, I guess, or sent to Paradise Island, which was basically like death, I guess. Um, but yeah, I guess like after some time, it just really hit him, and he really. Feels guilty now and all. Uh, and this episode was like way too happy with the festival and everything going on. So I guess next episode, maybe finally shit goes on. Because we had the first episode that had action and all this stuff. And then now the next three episodes now were pretty much like build up more. Where we get like the characters introduced and where we see Aaron seeing that he does some stuff and that he's like being around there but we don't know why and now everything builds up and i guess maybe next episode finally stuff happens now and it starts really to pick up and here we go full power maybe um and i mean we still haven't seen anyone else right from like we haven't seen mikasa uh armin or anyone else it's just Aaron and basically everyone in malay so man i can't wait this I hope it will be good, man. I can't wait. But yeah, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And yeah, if you like what you see, or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. I would really appreciate it. And it would really help me. But yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.